Okay, y'all, this is kind of a, uh, a video for my uh, FLAR members, Florida Aerial Riders members, um, which we're trying to build and make into something. Anyhow, first of all, I got to say thanks to Sven for um, making me um, an expert, giving me an expert badge on our page. I mean, I'm glad to be thought of as an expert. Yes, I'm a retired Marine mechanic. I did it for 40 years. I know the difference between tightening a bolt and loosening a bolt. So, I mean, if I don't know it, I will definitely look it up and find out. That's the kind of person I am. So if you got a question, feel free to ask me. If I don't know the answer, I'll find it out for you. That's the best I can do on that. Now, I thought that I might give you all a little look at my bike since I've done some things to it. And i got a couple more things that I'm going to do to it. But this is where it's at right now. So let's go around and go to the bike and see what I've done, what I haven't done, what I'm going to do, all that good stuff, right? So I've already eaten up, well, I ate up the stock tires, and then I bought some aftermarket tires, and I ate them up even quicker. 1500 on the stock tires, 500 on the aftermarkets. So if you watch any of my videos, you can find out what um, aftermarket tires I bought. They're junk. Don't waste your money. Buy some of these E-Huntsman's from V-Tire Company or some Shinkos or something that is comparable to this. Because once you unlock that bike and it goes faster than 20, you're going to eat the god dang tires right off of it. Just like I did and just like anyone else did. Now my buddy, I just changed the tire on my buddy's bike. He actually had 2,200 miles. And he hauls a trailer every day to work. So, he must be a little easier on a bike than I am. <laughs> so, you probably see I changed my seat. Oh, man, and this thing, this seat is, oh, that's a godsend. I wish I would have done that. The very first thing is changed it from that factory seat. That's like factory seats like sitting on rocks so and here she is kind of and I'll tell you what I've done so I changed the tires I already went through that and those tires are nice I'm not kidding you I would recommend those tires to anyone so V Tire Company, E Huntsman's. That's the tire right there. They are nice. So then, I've got this uh, little deal up here, which is right there. That's my beach towel. In case I need a towel and I'm at the beach, this is my beach towel. I made these, whoops, these straps I made myself. I got a little snap tool. You can go to the hardware and buy a snap tool and all the snaps and the nylon webbing. And you see how I got it attached to the top of the fork triple tree with a couple of the screws that they gave me in a bag of extra screws when I bought the bike. 
There's my handlebars. I got rid of those crazy drop down whatever cafe racer type those handlebars that they send on this suck let me tell you right off the jump they suck so these are carbon fiber mountain bike handlebars whatever ec90 is the number they came from amazon so i changed the handlebars I made the little straps to hold my beach towel because I go to the beach a lot. I mean, it's two miles from here, so why wouldn't I? Um, then down here underneath, that's my beach chair. One tigress. They sell those on Amazon. And again, I went to oh, Ace Hardware. I bought these plastic their buckles, plastic buckles. Bought a couple of those. Bought a few feet of this nylon. Whoops few feet of this nylon and then here's a really good way to make sure this stuff doesn't come apart you put the two pieces to two sides together heat up the one side with a big lighter get it melting do it on your countertop and then press it down with a butter knife and it will melt it'll melt right into that webbing on the back side and that shit will not come apart and the reason i went to the that, that trouble is because this here this one tigress beach chair well that's my second one the first one that i had i never even got to use other than to set it up in my freaking living room. Try it out once. Then I strapped it up under there. But I didn't take the time to melt this plastic. Or this, this webbing. Like I got it melted. And so what happened? I was halfway to the beach. And that shit came unstrapped. And I lost that chair. It was about a $60 chair by the way. So, never even got to freaking use it. You believe that shit? I didn't, but that's it. I also put a couple straps on the end here. Because, apparently, I don't want to lose this one. So, it's got a strap on each end and two straps underneath it. And... If that sucker comes off, I'm I'm going to be dead. So Oh yes, I also took on the X48. This right here has got a plastic sheath around it. Well, if that shaft in the center dries out every time you hit a bump, it's going to go ew ew ew. Ew, and it's going to drive you freaking crazy. So I cut that plastic off around there so I could squirt a little WD on that shaft. And guess what? After I cut, did that, well, there's no more ew, ew. It's quiet. I couldn't believe how much difference that made just in my riding mentality. So... That was that. I actually have ordered uh, a new shock, a 450 pounder. That's a 1200 pound shock. I ordered a 450 pounder. Seeing as I'm only 200, I think 450 pounds should be fucking plenty. 1200 pound shock? Are you out of your freaking mind? There's my new seat. I'm sure you've all seen that. 
That baby is nice. Like I said, I should have done that for the very first thing. Very first thing. I just ordered. See that? Right there? That white? That's just a cheap ass little tiny piece of plastic, real thin. It works. My friggin' bag's on there. It ain't going nowhere. But it's white. So I just ordered two cutting boards from Amazon that are the right size. I guess I'll probably have to modify them some way. But I'm willing to do that. That's the first thing you got to be willing to do with a bike like this. Is modify whatever the hell you buy for it. Because it ain't going to go right on it. It's going to need to be modified. And you can't buy something from Arrow Rider. Because they ain't got nothing in stock. So. I put a rear view camera on it. I did a video on that. And I'll show it to you anyhow. So there's my mount for my rear view camera. It's a piece of PVC with a couple modifications to it. And that's that. You can see that just fine. There's those E Huntsman's again. Oh, I love those tires. You wouldn't believe the difference they make driving down the road. Just just the sound they make, which is none compared to what you came, what you bought on the bike. That was the first thing I noticed when I rode this bike. Brand new, the first, first ride. God dang, them tires make more noise than a jet coming in. And the truth of that matter is I'd be driving down the bike trail. People would be 50, 75 yards in front of me, turning around and looking. What's coming my way? It's an aerial rider with factory tires. That's what it is. Sound like a goddamn freight train coming. <clears throat> then I put this. This is my uh, container slash cooler slash whatever the hell you want to call it. I love this thing. I love it. This is better than a rack. <laughs> Whoops, there's some dust on there. Huh. Yep, that's where you order them. Order them from eBay. But go to elephantcases.com and that's where you'll find out what size you want and what model number to order. Once you've picked out the size and the model number, go to eBay. Put that information in, and guess what? You'll get the case you want. So, that's kind of where I'm at. If you know me, I support 4Ocean. They're the ones that are Cleaning our oceans of plastic bottles and flip-flops and whatever shit floats in the ocean. They're for the ocean. And I've bought quite a few things from them. I support them highly. Anyone else that thinks we should clean our damn oceans, that's somebody you need to support. You can see I, I took a few stickers off my my uh, box there. I had a bunch of stickers on there, a couple of pot leaves and some stupid shit. And I took all that off and basically left my 4Ocean and my salt life because I'm kind of about salt life too because that's what I live, the salt life. So that's it. I'm getting a new shock absorber. I don't know what else I'm getting going to get. 
you know how it is. I need to get some turn signals in her, like some kind of rear light set up. I mean, that works. You know, I don't, I don't even drive this at night. I've driven it once at dusk. And that was to go one mile up to the pantry and get some cigarettes. Otherwise, I just don't drive at night. It's too dangerous around here. Too many snowbirds. So that's kind of it for now. There's my bike, and I love it. So if you all like this video, I'd appreciate it. You like, share, subscribe. It all means something to somebody. I appreciate it. So, thanks.